So I wanted to have a garage sale this weekend, and of course when I went to go make the signs, I realized that I don't have all the stencils I need to spell out garage sale. So upon YouTubing how to make my own stencils, I can only find like the simple block letter ones for I and E. Not really any that showed how to make a B or an A, B or anything with a hole in it. So I figured I would make this short tutorial on how to do so, and hopefully you guys like it, and it's at least helpful for anybody having a garage sale, I guess. Um, if you do like it, please like below. Thanks. Measure three quarters of an inch across for the top of the A. Next, measure five and three quarters of an inch down for the first leg of the A. From that point, you're going to measure three quarters of an inch over for the bottom of the leg. From that point, leave a two inch gap and begin making your other leg by drawing a three quarters of an inch mark. Now connect the corner of the bottom leg to the top. For the inner legs of the A, draw a line measuring one and three quarters of an inch long on each side. Draw these lines at an angle using the top corner as a reference point. Next, you'll want to draw a line straight across, however, a quarter of an inch shy. I will highlight this with red. A quarter of an inch of your line left over will be in red. I'm going to continue this red line from this corner to this corner at an angle. Where our quarter inch mark is, we're going to draw a secondary line at an angle to the other side. From this leg over is three quarters of an inch. So mark that with your red pen. Finally, closing the A's hole, <laughs> you want to draw one inch up at an angle. Here are the measurements I used if you want to use them as a general template for making your own stencil. Now, playing a little game of following the leader. Take your weapon of choice, in my case a box cutter, and follow the cuts I make as we cut along the stencil lines. Next, we're going to cut from that corner down, leaving that quarter inch gap. So don't cut right there where I just showed you. Cut after the quarter inch. So from here, over, cut. Following my cut lines, we're going to cut down, over, And lastly, you're going to cut up, but just until the red mark line, not all the way to the tip. Cut the top of the A with a horizontal line. It's very important that we don't cut the quarter inch gap, so don't cut there and don't cut here. You do want to cut the outer red line. To do so, go all the way down. Now we have to cut the red outer line on this side. To do so, follow my guideline. Cut down to this point, which is the beginning of the A-hole. Stop there. Then switching angles, you're going to continue down the hole. From this point, cut over up until the red mark line. So stop right here. Our last cut will be made straight down from our last point. And that's it. Pop that sucker out and hopefully you have something that resembles an A stencil. Remember to like the video if you got any use out of it. Thanks again.